It's like a divorce. Uh, I, I think that that's an easier thing for everybody to understand. Um, and I, I wanted to tell you a little story. Uh, there's two guys uh, sitting in a bar um, ha having a quiet drink and in walks a friend of theirs. He's, not, he's looking a bit uh, glum, a bit, bit uh, down on his luck. So they buy him a drink, uh, sitting down, and they say, you know, what, what, what's the matter, mate? And their friend, uh, he finally picks up courage and he said, well, um, I've just had a heart-to-heart -heart with my wife and she's told me that she's thinking of getting a divorce. Uh, she's not happy with our relationship. Although we've been together a long while, she thinks I dominate her. Um, she's, not, she's not at all happy with our marriage. And uh, what she said to me is that she's going to go away, she's going to ask her friends and her family, and she's going to come back in a few weeks' time and tell me whether uh, she wants to get a divorce or not. So the first friend says, uh, well, why don't you cut your losses uh, and uh, you initiate the divorce proceedings now. It's clear that uh, your wife doesn't uh, love you anymore. Even if you do stop together, it will probably only be because of the money. It's obviously a loveless marriage. Why don't you, uh, why don't you go for a, a divorce yourself? And the other friend is sitting there, um, and he's perhaps not quite as sharp as the other two guys. And he sits there and he says, um, well, really, I don't think you should bother, mate. He says, it's nothing to do with you. You just got to sit there and, and wait and she'll make a decision. But, you know, it's, it, it doesn't affect you, does it? It's nothing to do with you. It's her decision. And that, to me, is a bit like the situation we now have over the Scottish referendum. The people of England are sitting there waiting to find out whether the people of Scotland wish to divorce them and the political parties, all the main political parties, are telling the people of England that it's nothing to do with them, that they've just got to sit there and wait until the people of Scotland tell them what to do. And no, no sane person would ever say that the divorce of two people did not affect those two people. It's an absolutely ludicrous argument to make, to suggest that the divorce of Scotland and England does not affect the people of England. The whole reason that the people of Scotland have got this referendum is that because a lot of them think they are dominated by England. They think that England pushes them around. And therefore it's nonsense of the major political parties, Cameron, Miliband, Clegg, all of them are to blame for the fact that England has been ignored. And they try to peddle this idea that it's nothing to do with England, that it's purely Scotland's decision. And yet only an idiot would claim that a divorce doesn't affect both parties.